Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my video today about how to write a contract in the field using an iPad. My name's Jay O'Brien, Jay the Home Guy. Let me see in this real technical way. If you want to go check me out on Facebook and Twitter, just search for Jay the Home Guy for other fun tips and things to do. Okay, the program we're going to use today, uh, people ask me all the time kind of what programs do you use for your iPad to do real estate. Uh, the one we're going to look at today is called PDF Expert right here this red and white one it's available for ten dollars from the iTunes uh, or from the App Store I'm sorry so let's click on that and see what's gonna happen so we open it up this syncs to Dropbox so the way I did it is I went into my MLS and I filled out um, I got a blank form that has all the fields ready to go so and here it is it shows up it's just a blank offer contract so let's open this up here in PDF expert so as you can see here it's got um, all the fields ready to be populated all these blue ones are ones we can go in and manually type in uh, just with a touch of the button here. Let's get to the front of the contract and you can see how you touch it with your um, with your finger right here on your buyer and the, the pad is going to come up and you can type in their name. Now the neat thing about this is once you do it the first time it's going to populate the buyer field through the entire document so you only have to do that one time. You can go through and fill out the rest of it. But now the best part of it is people say, well, how do you use my iPad to sign the document? Well, this program lets you go up to the top here. There's an icon that you click, and you're going to give this to the buyer, and they get to sign your iPad right here. So you give that to them, and you say, J. O'Brien. They could even date it. And then save it. Now the neat thing is it's stored in the memory so you can do it over and over and over again. So when you're ready to place it, you just click and hold. You say signature. There it is. And you move it around to wherever the field is that you want it. If there's multiple places on another page you want them to sign there also, click hold for signature. There they could sign on that place. And then down at the bottom if they needed another one, um, you get it and you sign it again. So now the people say, well, what about security? Okay, we'll go back to it when you're finished, right there with them sitting in front of you, and then just clear it out. So then their signature is gone. You can't use it for anything else. Once you get back to the end of the contract, um, you, everything is filled out. You go up here to the area that says email, send by email. It's going to flatten this copy so that no one else can make adjustments to the contract. They can't go and change the purchase price or do anything uh, that you don't want them to do. You just put in the to field. Send it off to whoever you need. You can send it to yourself if you have to attach more documents. But there you go. Pretty much got a contract signed. And uh, there you go using your iPad. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.